Fourth down and two. It's interesting that on this day as well, another 12 in Cleveland lost a game that he's never lost before. Leading with two minutes to go by seven and they lost. That's never happened in his career. It's his first such loss. Including the playoffs, first time a Tom Brady team lost by a, a game ever after leading by seven plus points in the final two minutes regulation. So think about this. Brady led teams 218 and O, including the playoffs in that situation. Like, it's crazy because the sample sizes aren't supposed to get this large. You're not supposed to have 218 reps in, in, in the NFL. He's been playing so long. I saw this team in Munich say that they, all they had to do is get to 500, go on a bye week, come back, and then plant their foot and go, just like they did in their Super Bowl year when they were 7-5, and five, losing on this very weekend to the Chiefs. Thanksgiving weekend Thanksgiving weekend on a, on a Sunday, losing to the Chiefs to go to 7-5 and five and then didn't lose the rest of the way. They said that that was the plan, and they went to Munich, and they played their best football game. Rashad White ran for 100 yards. Tom Brady was throwing it all over the place. The only mistake he basically made was slipping on the turf when he was trying to receive one. Devin White was everywhere. They played great defense, and they just beat down the Seahawks and then came back from their bye and couldn't win in Cleveland. All right, I do not see the punt team going out there. I don't see the field goal unit going out there. But for me, the moment was... Late in this game, Brady and the Bucks up seven on the 37-yard line of the Cleveland Browns, fourth and two. Tom Brady standing there, and the coach, I guess, Todd Bowles, says, let's punt. It would be about a 55-yard field goal attempt. And I'm like, what does Tom Brady do with this? There's something to Rashad White. Or they try to draw him off sides. Tom Brady is told to take a delay of game penalty on fourth and two. Delay of game. Offense. Number 12. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. Like he does fourth and two in his sleep. Would have been a 55 yard attempt. Suck ups. Correll long at 54. Win could be a factor. So no. they take the delay of game. Chris Godwin. He and Chris Godwin can run around in their sleep Dude, on Godwin fourth and two and move the chains. Like, he's done that with Edelman, name it. He's done it with Patton. He's done it with <laughs> Caldwell. He's done it. Name, name a guy. Givens. Name a guy. Name a guy he's done it with. He's done it. Yeah. Here, here's what it is. I saw the Bucks defense start to impose their will on the Browns offense. And you're telling this guy, let's play defense. Bowles felt the same thing yep. and said, we don't need to give them field position. Pin them back, and let's keep playing good defense. And I saw that, and I said to myself, I, I, I don't know how Brady computes this. So that's exactly what Todd Bowles decided to do. Yep. We'll try and pin the Browns deep here. How does Brady compute being taken off the field on fourth and two in the fourth quarter? And I totally know this is revisionist 2020. Because at the time, they're up seven. And if David Njoku doesn't make some sick one-handed grab on fourth down to send the game in overtime, we're talking about how the Bucks are six and five with a two-plus game lead in the NFC South rather than five and six going into a Monday night game against their Bete Noir, the New Orleans Saints and its defense. And how bad, bad, bad and costly was that overtime? Because if you say, make sure Njoku doesn't catch it on fourth down in the end zone, or you don't punt it there and you put the ball in the hands of your GOAT quarterback, Tom Brady, and say, pick up two yards, Tom. And the defense that you love so much that you want to give a full field to, you then put the pressure on them and say, defend half the field. You give the ball to them on their own 37 as opposed to the ball on their own, what, 17? They only gained like 18 yards on a punt. Right? I mean, like, I, I, it just, to me, it doesn't compute. It just doesn't compute. When you've got Tom Brady. But how costly was the, the overtime? Tristan Wirfs got hurt in it. Their best offensive lineman on a banged-up offensive line. 
And, I mean, it looked so bad, apparently, that Fox wouldn't even show the replay of it. Jonathan Ooh. Vilma said it was too gruesome to show the replay of it. He gets carted off. But God bless him, the guy's such a mountain that it, he doesn't need surgery and he might be back in a month. Which is good because, unlike the other 12 in Rodgers, this 12 sure looks like he's still in line to host a playoff game against your Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Tom Brady today has got to be looking around and saying, what the hell is going on around here? We can't run it again? I know he's ma- he might be looking in the mirror talking about whatever mistakes he's making, but the one thing he's definitely not doing is saying, yeah, you know what? This offense, I, I don't have any confidence in it. Just just have me take the delay of game penalty and punt. Like the last coach that I think that probably did that with him was Lloyd Carr. <laughs> if you had to think about it. And I love Todd Bowles. And I just saw him in Munich. And I got a good sense from this team that they were just – Steady as they go, despite all the problems. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe as I post a new Tom Brady video every day.